Welcome to the call planning session of Business Web Map. Basically, the call planning uh, in this particular case scenario goes like this. I'm a, a salesperson. I have accounts uh, throughout the U.S., but in this case, I'm flying to Los Angeles LAX airport uh, in the morning and then leaving from John Wayne Airport uh, in the evening. What I would like to do is be able to identify uh, customers I could call on between LAX and Orange County Airport. Now, what we're looking at now is my database of customers. It happens to be an Outlook database. And it's difficult to determine exactly um, what customers are between those two points because it's a, it's a U.S. database, uh, among other things. And I can certainly search by I can certainly search by city or I can search by zip code or whatever. That's still not going to tell me all the customers that I need to call on or at least are available to call on. So an easy solution to that is to simply uh, geocode or plot these customers on the map. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, what we're looking at now is the exact same database, but rather than looking at rows and columns and numbers, we're looking at points on the map. So here's Los Angeles Airport and LAX. And here's Orange County. So if I want to find out all the customers in between, all I have to do in Business Web Map is do a spatial search. So I'll say spatial search, polygon, and I'll start here, and I'll follow the highway 405 down. And let's say that I want to get to this customer right here, and I'll continue down around Orange County like this, and grab these people, and double click. Okay, now we're actually looking at two separate databases. We're looking at the uh, airports that we found in the search as John Wayne, uh, LAX, and Long Beach. We don't care about Long Beach, so we're going to deselect that. We've actually found uh, 13 stores that we could call on between those two airports. Uh, 13 is going to be way too many, so I'm going to further refine that selection by just finding the stores or just selecting the stores or deselecting the stores that have the least amount of sales. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect some of these. You'll notice as I do that, uh, the number of stores uh, goes down in this uh, uh, text message. And the actual, uh, kind of a sidebar information, is the actual sales in that polygon, in this case, is almost half a million dollars. So I'm just going to randomly go through and turn these off. OK, we're down to six stores. So what I'm going to do now is do a route. All right, this is a routing grid, and we've actually combined those two databases of airports uh, and customers. Uh, they're not exactly right, though, because we want to start at LAX. So I'm going to move LAX like, up like this, and then I'm going to move John Wayne down like this. So now I'll start at LAX and end up at John Wayne. So let's do get route. And here's my route. It shows it's 54 miles. It's going to be about 6 hours and 24 minutes. So... Uh, so that's a quick synopsis of how we do call planning business web map. Thanks very much for watching.